I passed the MS-900 in just two weeks. Hey, my name is Sukami, and I took the Microsoft 365 Fundamentals three years ago, and it was one of the exams that helped me get my first cloud role as a Microsoft 365 engineer. So today we're gonna go through how I was able to pass the MS-900, some of the tips and tricks and resources that I use, and hopefully you'll be able to use the same and pass yourself. It's not a difficult exam as I was able to do it within two weeks. You just need to make sure you have the right study plan and the right resources to be able to help you with this exam. So to start off with, what is the MS-900? The MS-900 is the Microsoft 365 Fundamental Certification. It basically goes through the basics of M365 apps and services and how you'd be able to configure them to basically improve productivity, to facilitate collaboration, to be able to secure data, to be able to facilitate compliance and to optimize communication. As it's a fundamentals exam, it's not going to go too deep into any of the different topics within Microsoft 365. The skills measured are being able to describe the cloud concepts, being able to describe the Microsoft 365 apps and services, being able to describe the security, the compliance, privacy, and trust within Microsoft 365, as well as the pricing, licensing, and support that you can get within Microsoft 365. If you want more details on the skills measured, just go to the certification website for the MS-900 on Microsoft Learn, and you'll be able to click on the link and it'll give you a list of the different skills measured and the different points that you have to hit in each of them. Okay, so how did I pass the MS-900? Great question you ask. To start off with, what I did was go to the learning path on Microsoft Learn for the MS-900. On the website, you are able to do different modules based on the skills measured. Now, the second thing that I did was take a course on LinkedIn Learning. Now, at the time, I was working at Microsoft, so I was able to get LinkedIn Premium for free. Therefore, by nature, I would also get LinkedIn Learning for free. If you do not have LinkedIn Learning, what you can do is go to YouTube and do John Savile's study cram for the MS-900 course. It's about two hours and it will teach you everything that you would need to pass that exam. The third thing that I did and I would suggest for you to do is to do some practice tests. So what I did was go to exam topics and on exam topics, there's a whole list of different exams from all sorts of different vendors. Now you can pay for these practice exam questions, but I just decided to do the questions that were free. Another resource that Microsoft has available is the website aka.ms slash measure up. It's a list of practice assessments with all sorts of different exams, including the MS-900. You can go in there and you have 50 questions available to you to do as much as you want for free. So that's what I did until I got really good results, pretty much above 90% each time that I did those practice questions. And then I took the exam and I was able to pass within two weeks. Now, am I saying that you have to pass within two weeks? No, that's not what I'm saying. It could take you three weeks. It could take you a month. It could take you even one week to do. It's all up to you. Now, normally, whenever you do the fundamentals exams, they normally take 45 minutes to complete. And it's normally usually between 40 to 60 questions. So on average, it's about one question per minute, which is not a lot of time. Don't be too worried about that. It is a easy exam to do, it's not too difficult, which is why I was able to pass within two weeks. And then having that certification under my belt was one of the things that helped me be able to get my first cloud role as a Microsoft 365 engineer. So who's this exam for? I would say it's for anybody who wants to get into the Microsoft 365 cloud space, uh, those who want to become you know, Microsoft 365 engineers. So I would definitely say it is worth it as one of the beginner exams. For those looking to do the MS-900 exam, I wish you all the best. And I hope this video has helped you being able to know how to pass this exam. Thank you for watching my video. Please let me know when you guys take this exam. And if you pass, you know, just send me a message, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.